ground surface-to-air missile system known as the Corded 15. The platform was the latest in a series of indigenous platforms following on from the Baber 373 which was unveiled seven years prior in 2012. The platform is reportedly equipped with a passive phased array radar and is capable of locking onto fighter jets, stealth targets and cruise missiles. According to Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami, the missile system is capable of engaging both manned and unmanned combat aircraft at ranges of up to 120 km using Sayyid-3 surface-to-air missiles. The platform is also reportedly capable of tracking radar evading stealth targets and intercepting them at ranges of up to 45 kilometers and can engage up to six targets simultaneously. F-35A stealth fighters were recently deployed by the United States Air Force to the Middle East and around a dozen are currently in service in the Israeli Air Force out of 50 ordered and a further 25 planned. The Corded 15 appears similar to the Russian S-350 and South Korean KM SAM in its role and engagement range, though it appears to lack the high mobility and anti-missile capabilities of the other platforms. Given Iran's history of acquiring North Korean missile technologies and integrating them onto indigenous systems, it remains a considerable possibility that the Corded 15 is at least partly influenced by the KN-06 surface-to-air missile system which entered mass production for North Korea's armed forces in 2017. The platform is expected to use an advanced cold launch system like the KN-06 and Russian S-400, although this has yet to be confirmed. Iran's aerial warfare capabilities have long left much to be desired, with only two of its Air Force's 17 fighter squadrons equipped with modern long-range air-to-air missiles, a lack of fortified emplacements for its air defense assets comparable to those of Russia or North Korea, and only a small number of S-300 PMU-2 batteries capable of providing a modern air defense capabilities. These platforms are over two decades old, and with the ability to engage only 32 targets simultaneously they are prone to being overwhelmed and less receiving considerable support from complementary systems. Should the Corded 15 be manufactured and deployed in large numbers and integrated into the same network as the S-300, S-200 and other air defense systems in service, it could provide a valuable addition to Iran's air defense network which is currently at considerable risk of being quickly overwhelmed in the event of conflict with the United States. The platform is no substitute for more fighter squadrons with better equipment or for an advanced long-ranged air defense platform such as the S-400 which has 333% the range and 1,333% the target engagement rate of the Iranian system, access to hypersonic missiles and considerably superior counter-stealth capabilities. The Corded 15 nevertheless represents an impressive achievement for Iran's defense sector and fields capabilities few countries can match with their own air defense systems. The unveiling of Corded 15 air defense system and the production of precise and tactical missiles is turning point in Iran's missile capabilities, according to Press TV. The defense minister also referred to Iran's January 8 missile attack on the U.S.-occupied Ain al-Assad Air Base in Iraq's western Amber province. The strike came in retaliation for Washington's assassination of Iran's prominent anti-terror commander Lt. Gen. Qasem Soleimani upon his arrival in the Iraqi capital at the invitation of the Baghdad government. U.S. forces initially reported no casualties, but it later emerged that at least 110 soldiers sustained traumatic brain injuries TBIs. Hatami said the missile raid on Ain al-Assad was of tactical importance as it was the first attack on a U.S. base in Iraq and restored Iran's deterrence power. Soleimani's assassination had no operational value, but the objective of the enemies was to challenge the might of the Islamic Republic of Iran, he noted, emphasizing that the retaliatory missile attack.
which had been conducted with the prudence of leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Said Ali Khamenei and following public demand, destroyed Ain al-Assad and gave a crushing response to the enemies. Iran has, on many occasions, said its missiles serve self-defense purposes, asserting that they are not designed to be capable of carrying nuclear warheads. In November, a Pentagon research study hailed Iran's achievements in its ballistic missiles program despite decades of Washington-imposed sanctions, saying its arsenal is larger than that of any other Middle Eastern countries.